So, nagsain lang tayo guys as per usual saing yung isang gatang and then I will add the salt dun sa rice. Okay? Then we will just stir it. Then, let the rice cook for about 20 minutes. Okay guys, almost luto na yung kanin. So we can now add the prawns. Okay? Haro lang po siya. Just mix it with the rice. Okay. Yan. Then you cover again. And after like 5 minutes, pwede na natin siyang ihaon. Palamigin. So ayan guys, luto na po ang ating kanin na may prawn for our rice buro. Maya maya po, papalamigin po na po muna natin siya and then lalagay natin siya sa container. Then i-ferment natin siya ng tatlo hanggang apat na araw. So ayan guys, nailagay na po natin sa ating garapon or container. So we will ferment this for like 3 to 4 days. So before we start to cook our fermented uh, rice or the rice burro with prawns, here are the ingredients. So I have here my salt, rock salt, 4 pieces of tomato, ripe tomato, uh, finely chopped of onions, uh, garlic rather, and I have onions here, cube type, and I have here the four days rice with prawns, which is really smelly right now. I can really smell it, and my son is covering his nose. And I have here sugar, um, canola oil, and black pepper. So let's start.
here's our finished product. Ayan po, umusok-usok pa siya. Sorry, wala akong gulay <laughs> to make this uh, wow! guro beautiful. Pero sa itsura pa lang guys, mukhang masarap na. Ang bango-bango. Okay, thank you for watching. Sana natutunan niyo po kung paano gumawa ng fermented rice with prawns and madaming sahog na kamatis sa pag -isa. Thank you for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you and God bless you all. Rice fermented. Mmm, sarap. So yummy. Okay. Bye-bye.